that man Send lawyers, guns and money This shit has hit the fan and money Why isn't it getting bigger? Sorry, folks. I super apologize. Hold on. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Let me get Mr. you on Blaise here, baby. Mr. Blazeman's having technical difficulties as usual. I was just told to put my heat up, so I'm hoping that it actually comes on. Hi, everybody. Hi, Miss Tammy. Hi, Mr. Boys, man. How are you tonight? Hello, everybody. Well, I'm, uh, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, no sound. See, why, why, why is there no sound? There's sound now. I Gotta hear, be. I hear sound. I mean, I hear sound. You hear sound. Everybody got to hear sound. Who said there's no sound? Uh, IPA said uh, she don't hear no sound. IPA, let us know if you hear sound. Anybody hear sound? Because we definitely need you to hear sound now. So. <laughs> Can you see there's that? sound now. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man Show. And I'm going to tell you right now, right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, Right off the bat, okay, that seven viewers is not going to cut it. I'm telling you right now because I, I just want you all to observe Miss Tammy's desk. Okay, look hard. Zoom in, okay, because she's going to be like the Price is Right uh, 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 sexy uh, model girl, okay? Ooh, I should change then. 
Because I'm telling you right now, you know, yeah, you, you're all probably like watching a show and say, yeah, these people ain't going to, you know, give shit away and all that stuff like that, right? Um, you know, uh, starting starting off, okay, we're going we're gonna to show you the prizes, right? And then I am going to explain to you how can you can be eligible, okay, to win these prizes. Do you understand? We understand. I hope everybody understands. Tell understand. me what you like me to show off first. Okay, so uh, the first uh, gift, and, and mind you now, ladies and gentlemen, every one of these gifts that you see on the table, okay, all right, is uh, definitely costs more than $50 a piece, okay? Does everybody understand that? Everybody understands. Okay, so the first item that we got, if you're into stuff like this, is the watch. Show the watch, Miss Tammy. Everybody see it? I'm going to play some music. And this watch, ladies and gentlemen, okay, is a smart watch, ladies and gentlemen. It is Bluetooth ready. It tells the weather. It can tell you how long, uh, many times your feet you walked, uh, how many steps you take and all of that. Also, and also uh, you can uh, receive phone calls on it. You can text message. You can do all of that. It's a smart watch. Ladies and gentlemen, for those from you right here at the FFN Network, next what we got up online, ladies and gentlemen, is the mini camera. Okay? The mini camera, ladies and gentlemen, can be hooked up anywhere. It is not wireless. It's a wired system, ladies and gentlemen. And me personally, I like wired systems. If they you work. See all this room, you would see all the wires all over the place. Okay. So now, um, can it tell me what time? Yes, IPA uh, certainly can tell you what time it is because that's what watches do, right? Okay. Uh, we got to keep in mind, Miss Tammy, that there's at least three to four second delay before what we say reaches everybody out there. Now, with that being said, Miss Tammy's holding up a nice mini camera. This sucker works kick-ass, okay? Uh, you will go and download uh, the Blink app, okay? And you would set this camera up that way. Just plug it into any USB uh, port, okay? And um, it's totally free on the app, okay? But if you want it to record a certain amount, you know what I mean, of information. I think it's $1.99 to join Blink. Otherwise than that, you can press the goddamn app anytime you want. doesn't matter where you are, okay? And you'll connect to your to your uh, your camera, and you can see what's going on in your house. All right, Miss Tammy. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Now, prize number three, ladies and gentlemen, is the Harry Potter wand. Ooh. Okay? Now this is I know a girl who would love this. This is an actual, um, you know, a uh, wand, a Harry Potter wand. The whole box has inscriptions on it, the whole nine yards. Okay, and this wand can control all of the devices in your house. Okay, well, you know, like, uh, you know, if you have, of course, your TV, it will control. It will control can you your control cable box. somebody to be quiet. No. It will control. Why would you want me to be quiet? Is that what you're saying for me I to be quiet? Say you. Well, who you do you want to? Oh, in the future, down the road, you can want and make me quiet. I get you. Um, I don't know. That could be uh, an item. But uh, anyways, and um, you control it saying the Harry Potter, uh, you know, words like uh, whatever the hell they said on Harry Potter. This thing is pretty badass. Awesome. Okay. Comes in a really cool box too. Yeah, the whole box, the whole thing is awesome. Uh, you can show it up a little bit higher, you know, not high, high, but open it. Okay, and tilt it. There you go. There you go. All right. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, the next item that we have to give away is the coolest thing that I thought. Um, is a portable karaoke machine, Miss Tammy. You can hold that thing up. You know, it's the portable uh, karaoke machine. Mrs. Tammy, that's pretty cool, huh? It is. 
is pretty it cool. doesn't only it has an amfn radio on it you could do karaoke it has bluetooth and one of the reasons we chose it for a prize is the battery is incredible badass okay thing lasts forever okay uh could can the wand take me to hogwarts uh on i don't know ipa i don't know i if you wish hot enough then yeah they probably <laughs> wish hot enough you can go anywhere all right thank you for that miss tammy and uh uh one of the uh, we're all set with that miss tammy oh, okay. yeah you can put that down um and one of the the hugest surprises that we have here ladies and gentlemen because again we don't Screw around here on FFN Network, especially the Miss Tammy Blaze Man show. Hold that up, Miss Tammy. Uh, and uh, one of our uh, last prize that we have to give away is a tablet PC. Okay, it's not a tablet, it's a tablet and a PC, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is pretty badass, it uh, has uh, a lot of gig. Uh, the whole nine yards, okay? So right now, uh, that's the five items we have to give away, but you all need to listen to the rules, okay? Attention, everyone. Because come showtime, and the rules will be put up on FFN Radio Network, because come showtime, if you're not familiar with the rules, I'm sorry, we're, we're moving on to the next person, okay? The, sorry, this, is not, my glasses. this is not... This is not... You know, this is not junk up here. We did this shit way back. We've had so much fun with it. Um, uh, no, unfortunately, we're not giving our dog away IP. No way. IPA. No way. We're hoping to make puppies with her. That's so. because she could see her underneath the table. Oh, is she? Underneath your desk, I should. She's underneath me? Yeah. I think she is. Uh, no, I'm, I'm seeing things. Anyhow. So uh, those are the prizes for now. Of, of course, if you win, you know, uh, the car, you automatically get a $25 uh, Walmart gift card. And those prizes right there are only if you want to give the $25 Walmart gift card back. Okay. And all five of those prizes are going to be put on that wheel right behind Miss Tammy. Can you see the wheel? Can everybody okay. see the wheel? And then if you decide to say, nope, I want to give the $25 back and I want to go for a chance to win one of the prizes, there's a lot of spots on that wheel, ladies and gentlemen. And there's five major prizes that are going to go up there. Depending on if we're in a good mood or not, sometimes we'll add an extra $50 Walmart gift card up there. Okay, so. For those of you that are here and was and seen everything that was going on, you need and you want to find your friends and tell them that we got big freaking giveaways. Ooh. Right? Big, 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 big giveaways. Big, 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 big. All right. So now I'm going to take a sip. Miss Tammy, take a sip. You know, and that way, uh, cheers to you, uh, my beautiful uh, wife. You can take a sip. Um, and um, yes, what we're going to do now is we're going to explain all the rules. So pay attention. Oh, my goodness. We'll say them right after this. <clears throat> now. We're going to tell you the rules, but we're going to give you a little bit of time to maybe give a friend a call or something to that effect to get them in here. Because again, as soon as we come back, we're going to tell you what the rules are. Stick around for more of the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man Show.
good man Send lawyers, guns and money This shit has hit the fan and money back everybody thanks for sticking around for more of the miss tammy and blaze man show Welcome hey look back, everyone hey look here's the deal i mean you people don't want to fucking leave you know <laughs> i don't get it <clears throat> excuse me i apologize well, maybe, right. maybe they're all getting their popcorn and snacks ready for biden the state of the union oh uh, go ahead you want to hit that for about a minute while i get some a few things ready i would love that well, yeah, I mean, that, I mean, it is kind of important. Are you planning on watching that tonight? I Probably not. I well, I think we should. You think so? Yeah, of course. Well, what's the importance to that, and why should we watch that, Miss Tan? Well, to see what's going on, to see if he has any plans, to see what, what you know, his opinion is about stuff. I think we should watch it. I, uh, well, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, you know, Say no. I think it's kind of important, right? I don't think he's going to start at eight, though. I think right now he's still getting his cat nap in. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know that, too. Yeah. Because what, well, what did you say to me? This morning I said he's going to sleep his day away until tonight. <laughs> right. Right. Well, I have to say, if I was doing a state of the union for like two hours talking in front of like a lot of people, I probably I would take a nap, too. I love my naps. Oh, well, yeah, but that's because you love your naps, so. Well, I would take a nap, All too, right. so, so I'm just saying he could take a nap. Yeah, true. So everyone's waiting uh, for the rules. Okay, so we're going to shoot one rule out there real, real quick, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, if anybody's going to get butt hurt, you're going to get butt hurt now, but uh, this is how it's been done forever, and uh, I don't see any reason for FFN Network to change anything. So, first and foremost, if you do any kind of show on FFN Network, you are not entitled to play the game. Mm. Okay? I'm super, super sorry. Uh, I think maybe we should have had a discussion about that ahead of time. Yeah. So, IB IPA is off on Thursday. She can't wait. You know, she's happy. She gets to watch our show without worry. Um, and now she's saying I need a nap. I don't even know why. Anyway. <laughs> so listen, you know, the rules are pretty simple, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. They're pretty simple. All right. Number one. Okay. Like we said, if you do, uh, basically if you're an employee of a permanent network, okay. And do a show for us, uh, you're, you're not entitled to play the game. Sorry. Very, very sorry. All right. I still think we should have talked about that one. Uh, no, because listen, let me ask you a question real quick, right? Because let's get this out of Obviously the way. Obviously, me and you can't win because we're doing the show. Listen, but listen, other people who listen. are on other shows, they're okay. not here in a room with us. <clears throat> okay. So you don't know how this stuff works, really, do you, right? So I'm going to try to help you. Do you think it's going to be fair? All right, for if we got 40, 50 people in here, right? And there's five people that work for the company or do a show and they win a prize. You don't think there's going to be backlash for that? Well, first of all, how do you win a prize? 
Well, you're not giving me a chance to tell the rules because you're saying, oh, I think we should have talked no, about that. Exactly. I think we should have talked about that. Not on the air right well, now. Well, we're talking about it now. And employees don't get to get the gifts. This is ridiculous, I think, right now. And we did this a million times before, Miss Tammy. Why would we change the rules now? Because I don't think I liked that rule before either. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay? Employees can be included. Okay, you happy now? Okay. All right, so that ends that. That ends that argument because this one over here is telling me I need to take a nap because I'm cranky. Anyways, not cranky. Um, I'm sorry. I I'll do the best I can to get these rules out sooner or later here. Number one, there is no number one. Number two, okay, FFN Network 9 at gmail.com. It's very important that you all remember FFN network at g9 at gmail.com we're gonna leave it up there through the remainder of the show if you want to give us a call and say hi to us and see how great we are that we do cool shit like this the number is 508-974-4231 again 508-974-4231 call in to the miss tammy and blazeman show now everyone who watches this show Okay, it can even start tonight. You know, we want everything to start tonight because next week is when we're rolling, baby. So we're going to go with number one rule is you email FFN Network. Okay, just put your first and last name. That's all you got to do. Okay, first and last name. Send FFN Network 9 at gmail.com an email with your name. Once we get over 20 emails, we will start the contest. Anything below 15 emails, and we're going to go right up to the five minutes before the show starts to see if we reach those 20 emails, okay? Okay, so people have to email us and say that they're watching? or No, people like have to. Or whatever? No, people okay. have to email us and give their name okay if they want to say something else like oh you know we think ffn network's cool i don't care mm -hmm. just got to put your name okay and then we'll, we'll, we get a fair amount of uh, hopefully it's over 20 and we get a fair amount okay of the uh, of uh, people then you and i will put it through uh the name uh, uh the random we have a thing uh, a software to a generator a name generator okay and we'll enter all the names in the generator. And we're going to pick five names for that night. Okay? We're going to pick five names for that night. Unfortunately, whoever wins first, that's it. You know, then we play next week. Okay? With that being said, again, in order to qualify, you got to send us an email at FFN network dot nine i mean sorry not dot nine <laughs> ffn network nine at gmail.com again ffn network nine at gmail.com all you got to do is put your name say hi or whatever we will take that name and put it in our name generator to pick someone's name then when we call you out next thursday during the show okay you got to call in the show we're not asking you to do video. You got to call in. And then we are going to play. What are we going to play, Miss Tammy? Spin the wheel. We're going to play the secret sound, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay? yeah. Well, I was get. I. What? I was hoping you was going to get to that, but you it's like taking a long time to get there. Yeah. Um. So, okay. Again, I'm going to say it real quick, and then we'll say it towards the end of the show again today in order for you to qualify to play the game you gotta email us at ffnnetwork9 at gmail.com say hi put your first your first and last name okay the wheel will be fixed by then it's only <laughs> it's only a little clip that I gotta put in I know I've been uh, procrastinating and, and waiting but sometimes Mr. Blaze Man's very slow okay. at things and there there are gonna be little uh little monster faces on the wheel if yeah, you I land mean, on it you lose everything everything can't be a winner you know shit anyhow okay now again email FFN Network 
nine at gmail.com. Say hi, put your full name, first and last, okay? We select your name during the show. You give the show a call. We play the game called Secret Sound. We will play a secret sound, or a sound, and if you guess what that sound is, you win a $25 Walmart gift card. Miss Tammy and I will give you the option to give us back that $25 Walmart gift card and take your chances at the Wheel of Horizon. Okay? The Wheel of Prizes. Okay? Now, with that being said, we will say the rules one more time at the end of the show. Okay. I'm going to leave the email up there. I'm telling you folks right now. You should. Everybody write it down just in case. You yeah. Forget. Yeah. I'm telling you folks right now, nothing you- happens until we reach 20. So, you, if people plan on watching, which I hope you do, you should stop ahead of the 7 o'clock. So maybe like 6.45, 6.30, anytime you want. But I would do it ahead of the 7 o'clock. Do what ahead of the 7 o'clock? Email us. Well, they could email us now. The people that are watching now can email us now. You know, it has nothing to do with who sends the first email. It has to do with the idea is to get more than 20. If we don't have more than 20 and more than 20 people don't watch the show, we don't run the contest. We'll do our show, but we don't run the contest. That's the rules. Mm-hmm. That's the rules. Okay? I mean, we can't keep giving out gifts to the same freaking people all the time. You know what I mean? I am being nice, IPA. Um, so, um, yeah, that's the deal. So, again, we're going to be right back in about four minutes, and then me and Miss Tammy are going to talk. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, and we're even going to talk about fucking celebrities that don't like to wash up. We'll be right back. Stick around for more of the Blaze Man and the Miss Tammy and the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man show. We will be right back.
Uh, hello, and we're back. Welcome back to the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man Show. So what I forgot to add is during the duration, you will hear this as you're trying to figure out what the name of the sound is. And as soon as we cut it off, you need to have that answer. So how many seconds do you have? Like 30 seconds? As soon as we cut it off. No, I know. But are you going to give... Then you have to answer. I know, but are you going to give like a certain amount of time to try to guess it? Um, I mean, I'm not going to be a jerk off, but I'm certainly not running this for 30 seconds. Right, like 20? No. 15? So say you are on the phone and guessing the secret sound, right? Mm -hmm. So Miss Tammy, are you ready to guess the secret sound? I am ready. All right, let's go. You could say it at any time. I don't even know what the sound is. Think of the sound. Um, uh, a doorbell ringing. You are correct, Miss Tammy. As a doorbell ringing, baby. Now, Miss Tammy. I won a $25 gift card. You won a $25 Walmart gift card. Okay, let's just remember to say Walmart gift card, Miss Tammy. I don't want anybody to think they're getting some kind of other gift card, all right? Okay. So now you won that $25 gift card, Miss Tammy. You're super excited. Hey, nowadays, 25 bucks is 25 bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. So now, ladies and now, Miss Tammy, uh, uh, the Miss Tammy, uh, the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man Show would like to offer you to return that $25 gift card and take your chance at one of the five prizes there on your desk. I am going to go for it. I am going to take my chance at the prizes on this desk. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so everybody see how it works, your dunk coughs? All right, so now you got to get and send that email. Do you understand? You got to send that email to ffnnetwork9 at gmail.com. I understand. Okay, I guess there's quite a few people. There's quite a few people watching right now, Miss Tammy. And I guess some of them don't want to fucking play the game. You know, well, some, if they don't want to, they don't have to. As yeah, they got something better to do on a Thursday night besides watch two good looking people on TV. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. And speaking about good looking people, Miss Tammy, what? I was I was looking at some gossip. OK, oh, the yeah? other day. What kind of gossip? On the on the E on the E's new the E News Network there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the thing here is, is that there's celebrities. That don't like to wash up. Mm, they're too lazy. They don't like to wash up. Um, Cameron Diaz. Everybody remember her? She's dropped out of Hollywood. Supposedly she's got herself like a regular job, like regular people. And that's fucking cool. You know what I mean? Not everybody's, you know, uh, whatever. You know, I can make one movie. You give me five million dollars. Miss Tammy and I can live our lives fucking comfortably the rest of them. The rest of the years. You know what I mean? Now, that being said, okay, Cameron Diaz doesn't believe in deodorant. She says that your body should just smell natural and that she doesn't like putting on uh, deodorant. You know what I mean? Well, it's a, I, would, I put deodorant every day, but I would guess it would depend, like, what you're actually doing. Like, I mean, I don't think that you would sweat if you're just, like, like having like a desk job or just like well, babe, uh, babe. I mean, I put. I don't say that around, one. I but, put do it around all, every day, no matter what I do. But. Yeah, but Miss Tammy, this is coming from her peers. You know, these are other actors and actresses saying she fucking stinks on set and shit because, and they, I guess they must have asked her why, and she says she don't like to wear deodorant. Oh, well, that's a little different. Okay, uh, that's a little different. I mean, well, that's a little different if she does smell and. Ashton Critcher and what's his wife's name? I can't say it. We'll just say the the girl that played his girlfriend on the '70s show. I can't. I can't. And she was in Ted. Um, I, I can't think of her name. Yeah, I don't know. Maya, Maya something. Mm -hmm. Um, they don't wash at all. Neither one of them. They don't wash. Oh God. Why? 
they, I don't know why. It just <laughs> says that they don't, you know, they don't like fucking water or something. <laughs> the other person that says they don't like uh, water is that kid Shiloh, Shy. He did all the Transformer movies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not only they say the kid's like, he's a little fucking weird. You know what I mean? But he says that he don't fucking like water. Well, I'm reading it right here. These are his quotes. He doesn't care for water. Well, how about soap? Does he like soap? Well, what the fuck is the point of the soap without water? Well, at least the soap would have him make him smell good. Right. If he's in the body, <laughs> if he's in the body spray, if he's in the body spray and shit, you know what I mean? Body spray can only cover up so much. If you stink, you sink. You'll just stink with body spray on you. IPA, if you know what their names are, you could just type that in the comment section, okay? Don't say, oh, my God, Blaze, you need to get their names right. I tried to. Ashton Kutcher, that's his name. Ashton I know Kutcher. That. Kutcher in the kitchen. I don't know. Whatever. The wires wrapped around my leg. Anyhow. Uh, oh, my. Okay. Thank you. I see it now. Anyways, they don't like to wash up. Well, they're good for each other then. Because I know if I had a husband that stunk, I think I would tell him. Right. I would too. You would tell me if I stunk? Fuck yeah. What the hell kind of question is that? Well, I hope you would. But I hope we would say it in a nice way. Like, not like, oh, babe, you stink. Right. Like, oh, babe, you kind of like. Kind of like have this odor coming from you. You might want to like. Oh, you wash. wouldn't. You would be yeah. like, babe, you fucking stink. Wash up. I would say that to you. Yeah. Mila. Okay. So I think everybody might be into this. I know that you might be into it, but uh, we have uh, Miss Giselle, Tom Brady's ex wife. Mm -hmm. And we have her here on a video, and she's going to explain to us what dating life is like without her husband, Tom. Mm. So let's take a listen to this little tramp. I mean, you know, person. Don't say that. I didn't. Sorry, guys. I didn't know. Giselle Bunchen breaks down discussing her divorce with Tom Brady. The supermodel holds back tears in a preview of her upcoming tell-all. Where my heart is now is where I am right now is I'm leaving my truth and I'm not apologizing for it. In Giselle Bunchen Climbing the Mountain, a conversation with Robin Roberts, Giselle sits down with the Good Morning America anchor for an intimate chat about life, career, and her split with the former NFL quarterback. Everything I've experienced, it made me realize what I want and what I don't want. Who is the Giselle sitting in front of me right now? At the end of the day, like if you're not truthful to who you are, then it doesn't work. The end of a power couple's marriage. Tom Brady and Giselle Bunchen announcing their divorce. You didn't think that the marriage would end. No one goes into no. a marriage thinking yeah. it's going to end, but it does. You said it was the death of a dream. Yeah. One simple question from Robin is enough to open the floodgates for Bunchen. How are you? Well, when you say... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I didn't know... Can I have a little moment? Co-parenting, how has that been? I think, you know, there's easier days than other, and I can only control what I do. You gonna be able to open up your heart again to someone? Um... The interview, part of Impact by Nightline, airs March 7th on Hulu. Giselle and Tom announced their plans to divorce back in October of 2022, after 13 years of marriage. Tom said in a statement on his Instagram story at the time, we arrived at this decision amicably and with gratitude for the time we spent together. We are blessed with beautiful and wonderful children who will continue to be the center of our world in every way. We will continue to work together as parents to always ensure they receive the love and attention they deserve. Tom and Giselle share son Benjamin and daughter Vivian. Tom also shares son Jack with ex-girlfriend actress Bridget Moynihan. In 2023, Giselle sat down with CBS News Sunday morning, reflecting on her marriage, including why she wouldn't change a thing, even that things ended. And I, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have any other life. I wouldn't have done it. If they say, can you change something in your life? I wouldn't change absolutely anything. Not even getting divorced? 
I mean, it's not what I dreamed of and what I, I hoped for. You know, I think I, I you know, my parents have been married for 50 years and, yeah. and I really wanted that to happen. But I think you have to accept, you know, sometimes that the way you are in your 20s, it's, you know, sometimes you, you grow together, sometimes you grow apart. I mean, he's the father of my kids, you know, so I always wish him the best. And I, I mean, I'm so grateful that he gave me wonderful children. The A-lister also previously opened up to Vanity Fair when she reacted to speculation that the quarterback's retirement and his subsequent decision to return to the game is what caused their divorce. Giselle said those assumptions were, quote, very hurtful, calling the rumors the craziest thing I've ever heard. Later adding, what's been said is one piece of a much bigger puzzle. It's not so black and white. Authorities are shedding light on Garrison Brown's final moments. The 20. Well, there you have it there, Miss Tammy. Yep, there you have it. So what would you like to add there? Do you think she's really sad? Do you think she misses her husband, Tom? Yeah, I think so. You think so? 15 years is a long time to be with somebody, of course. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But you, do you think, did you? Why are you over there? There you are. Do you think that, uh, uh, do you think what did it, and she denied it a little bit, but you think what did it is when he said he was going to go back to football? No. I do. Because I she she wanted him to retire like three, two years, three years before that. Yeah, of course, babe. But if their marriage is good, just because he went back to football, she's not. They're not going to get divorced just because of that. Well, I don't know, babe. I don't it. know. You don't know. Well, I don't know, but you well, don't know either. Said, so don't she, act like you know everything. No, I. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. We don't need people screaming in. Well, stop scaring everybody. We won't need to scare them. Because you just said that's what you think, and that, that's what I think. Anyhow. Anyhow. So, um. I think it probably hurt her and disappointed her that he said that he was going to retire and didn't. So, yeah, that was probably a part of it. Well, he said um, what happened was is he did retire. And then he went back. Yeah, for how long did he retire? Well, I'm just saying. Not so long. that had to have played a factor. Yeah. I just said, I'm sure it did. You know? But I'm sure a lot of other stuff did, too. Well, And I agree with IPA. She says everyone's uh, uh, marriage is different. Of, of course it is. But I don't know. I think Tom fucked up. I do. I think he said, you know, yeah, baby, you know, yeah, we're going to retire. We're going to spend time how, together. Yeah. All right. So how happy would he have been, though, if he would have retired and really not have wanted to? He would have been, like, re like upset and, like, taking it on her that he didn't retire because she kind of made him retire have regrets yeah exactly. maybe feel a certain way towards her or whatever yeah. and stuff like that yeah that's fine so either well, way listen, love comes before all of that fucking shit you know what i mean it okay but if he retired just for her and he didn't want to he would have been miserable well and maybe that would have made her bit. miserable maybe a little bit the, me personally i would have sat there and said you know it's kind of sucks but you know i want my wife to be happy but if he were miserable that would no, that's not how miserable. I'm putting it, though. Well, I'm just saying, if he was miserable because he retired, it wouldn't be a good relationship. How is it going to be a good relationship if one person's miserable and one's not? I didn't say he was miserable. I'm not saying. Okay. Well, what? go ahead. Take I'm almost saying it as I was him. Babe, you're getting confused. I'm not confused. So, I, all I'm saying is, is I would feel some kind of way, but I would do it because I love the person that I'm with. Period. I do shit like that now. So, you know, it, it, it's nothing's hurting me. I don't fucking regret nothing in any way, shape, or form. I don't think that he, uh, I don't know. I guess football was uh, more passionate for him than to say, you know, you know, all right, baby, you know, we're going to, I don't know. Maybe he said to her, well, you know, if I fucking retire from football, can you chill on the modeling gig for a little while? Or maybe she said, oh, you know, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to give up modeling. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, how do you know? I don't know. Nobody really knows which, what happened between them, but you shouldn't always go by what you read in the paper or what hap- what they say on the news. Well, I agree with that. I agree with that. So, but uh, um, I'm going to put up your fame. One of your uh, uh, IPA uh, has uh, something. We're going to put it up here on screen. Okay. Okay. And uh, you let me know when, it, when you see it come up there. Okay. Okay. And that might take a few seconds because everything is uh all right, it's up there right now. Okay. So it said uh, this is from IPA. It says someone once told me happiness is the key along with communication. So asking your partner what makes them happy and being happy them one hundred percent. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think about that, Miss Tammy? That's very smart. Yeah. I think we kind of go by that model a little bit. Mm-hmm. Nah, you know, um, let's see. Uh, this is from uh, Jeffrey uh, Benettini. Uh, hope I'm reading that right. And it said, I'll give it a second to bounce up for you there, Miss Tammy. Okay. I could put my glasses on. I'd see better. These are my reading glasses, by the way. Yeah, she got her new reading glasses, everyone. She got her new reading glasses. Okay, uh, uh, um, uh, Jeffrey's uh, comment is up for Miss Tammy to read. It says, I think she wants some Euro trash boy toy. Nah, <laughs> no. I don't think she's like that. I, I I really think what they had was fucking super great. You know what I mean? So, but I got to put up Miss Tammy's favorite person, and this is Patrick Mahomes' wife. Is she's his wife now or a girlfriend still? I think, I think she's Mahomes his wife. wife. Yeah, it's I, his wife. I don't even know who that is. My favorite That's person. Uh, the little bitchy. Uh, she always bitched about his uh, the the referees and him and all that stuff with football. And uh, she doesn't have uh, in the football world. There's not too many people that like her. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's take a listen to the little brat or what he has to say. <laughs> Mm, from a recent injury the former soccer player who shares children sterling and patrick bronze with kansas city chiefs quarterback patrick mahomes is giving fans a health update on march 6th she captions a selfie on her instagram story by writing quote just your daily reminder once you have kids please take care of your pelvic floor seriously from a girl with a fractured back. Okay, what's that mean? I don't know. Take care of your pelvic floor. Well, I I, <clears throat> I certainly know what pelvic is. <laughs> well, I don't. I didn't get that. I didn't get that. According either. to University of Utah Health, pelvic floor complications can be a result of ch- childbirth, manifest as lower back pain, loss of blood control, and more symptoms. While the 28-year-old does not reveal what exactly led to her back injury, she does offer a positive follow-up on her recovery process. I can have a couple ideas. She shares a photo of daughter Sterling holding Patrick's hand and writes, quote, But vacaying with my homies will maybe make it better. And when she's not at home with her little ones, Brittany is constantly seen cheering on her husband at Kansas City Chiefs games. After his team's Super Bowl win on February 11th, the quarterback tells a reporter, quote, Brittany is a great wife with two great kids. I can't ask for anything better than this. Wait a minute, does he and have Brit- two kids or are those his kids? Those are his kids, I'm assuming. Well, why did he say it like that then? Say it like what? Listen. I can't ask for anything better than this. And I can't ask... Brittany is a great wife with two great kids. Brittany is a great wife with two great kids. Not Brittany's a great wife and we have two great kids. Mm, I don't know. I you th- understand? I think you're taking it a little too little. You think the reporter was the one that worded it, retarded? Yeah. Brittany is a great wife with two great kids. I can't ask for anything better than this. And Brittany, who wed her high school sweetheart Patrick in 2022, has also been extremely candid about the scrutiny that comes with being in the public eye. 
While making her Sports Illustrated swimsuit debut in February, she says, quote, People are going to love you or hate you. But finding your values and what makes you you to be the best version of yourself is what really matters. She adds, quote, I want women to feel empowered to always be yourself, love yourself, and feel confident in whatever you do. Oh, well, that's enough. We're here. But- well, she was his high school sweetheart, so I'm pretty sure those are his kids. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I got to take this, Miss Tammy, entertain. So this is much better. We got heat, ladies and gentlemen. We got heat. They were saying they couldn't hear me, so I don't know if they heard anything I said or not. Oh, well, that sucks if they couldn't hear you. I apologize, everyone. I know you have squirrel moments, Blaze, but leave the her mic on. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, I... so he did shut my mic off. Well, I tried to uh... talk. <laughs> Anyways, I'm super sorry about that, okay? Um, but it was kind of important that I had to back out a little bit because we have heat. Yay, we got heat. <laughs> that means Mr. Blazeman's going to put the heat on all night and we're all going to sweat now. No, I just want to make sure. Because remember, when we had the old boiler, and I think that's why it was going to break down sooner or later, because... When we would put the heat on, the other part of the house would get hot. This part of the house, the it would barely come on. Yeah, I can so, feel the heat though. So now we're gonna check them all and make sure that they're all uh, they're all working well. Cool. So uh, after eighty four years, I know you have squirrel moments, Blaze, but leave her mic on uh, <laughs> after eighty four years. <laughs> Oh God! Now, come on, now you gotta be. I don't look fucking eighty-four. I mean, you know, Jesus Christ! I got, uh, you know, I, I got some white hair. Who and said you were eighty-four? IPA. She uh, said after eighty-four years, you know, not quite eighty-four. Give me a K. B says. Uh, let me let me read what B's doing here. Uh, C. He says, "What a skank! Not nice." I text him a message. Said that's not nice. And then he said, see, I told you so. And then he said, give me a S. And he said, give me a K. And then he said he couldn't hear me. Yes, we can't. You shut the mic off. You. I don't know if I did. Let me know if you can hear Miss Tammy now, everybody. Go ahead, talk. Babe. Mm-hmm. 
There I am again. Yeah. So, yeah, I know why it, your mic didn't. Because you're not on, I can't be on, right? Oh, it took 84 years. Well, because uh, we're sharing the same system. That's oh, why. So yeah. Shut your mic off. Mine goes off. Yeah. Too. Well, if I leave the room, yeah. Oh, okay. it, it turns you, shuts you down. I um, get it. So, anyway, so we got just two minutes, okay? And I'm going to explain again for two minutes exactly what it's going to take, okay? Okay. Go for it. For everyone to have fun next Thursday, okay, right here on the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man Show. First thing you got to do is you got to go and email us at ffnnetwork9 at gmail.com. Again, that's ffnnetwork9 at gmail.com. You e email us your full name. You can say hi, how great the shows are, blah, blah, blah. You got to email us your full name. And then come next Thursday, we are going to take your name and we're going to put it in a name generator. Okay? Uh, all the names that we have, we're going to put them in a name generator. And we're going to pick five names for next Thursday night. Okay? Unfortunately, if someone wins before you get the chance, if you were picked, then, you know, game's over. But you all understand that. Again, so number one, FFN Network 9 at gmail.com. Number two, put your full name, say hi, whatever you want. Okay. Number three, we need at more than 20. If we don't have 20 viewers and 20 people that want to play, the game doesn't stop until the following week. Okay. Uh -huh. And that's it. Simple. You can't be no more simpler than that. And then the contestant should act like Miss Tammy did when we did the little uh, situation and how you can win. You liked my little uh, promo, didn't you? The promo was so cool. <laughs> right. Ding, 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 ding. Right. I've been reading your text, IPA. Do, 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 do. So again, so Miss Tammy. You just won $25 playing Whee! Guess the Secret Sound. Whee! Now, Miss Tammy, you won $25 from playing the Secret Sound. Now, you have the option, Miss Tammy, to give us back the $25 gift card and go for one of the super prizes right there on your desk, or you can just be happy and keep the $25, or we'll send it to you, and you can be on your way. Let me see. Let me think about this. I will go for it. All right. She's going for it, ladies and gentlemen. She's going for it. Oh, yeah, she is. That's what's happening. And this thing is going for it. So that's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. And then those five prizes will be put up on the wheel. Okay. Hi, Joshua. Um, the five items will be put up on a wheel along with little... You know, scary, uh, you know, uh, a guy is scary. Like, uh, instead of a happy face, it's a mean face. And if you land on that, you get nothing. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. So for Joshua's sake, Joshua, in order to play uh, Guess the Secret Sound next week on Thursday with the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man on the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man show, you need to go to FFN Network. Nine at gmail.com. Put your for all, your full name, say hi, blah blah blah. And then when that during uh maybe Wednesday night, Miss Tammy and I will put the names to a name generator, and we are gonna pick five contestants. And whoever guesses the secret sound first wins a $25 Walmart gift card. <laughs> then if you decide. We could give you the option to give us back that $25 Walmart gift card. And you can go for a chance to win the big prizes over there. Miss Tammy, if you could real quick. We got a mini camera to give away. If you could show. Uh, we got a mini camera to give away. Every prize that's on that desk is worth more than $50. Okay. A watch. We got a Bluetooth uh, Android smartphone watch. And yes, IPA, it tells time. We have the Harry Potter wand. 
Okay. Say the secret Harry Potter words and it will change the channel on your TV. It will change the sound on your sound card. It will change whatever you want to whatever device that you connect it to, ladies and gentlemen. And item number four is one of my favorites, and that is the portable karaoke system, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> portable karaoke system. I'm telling you, that's great. And all you got to do is send an email to FFN. I know, I know. All you got to do is send an email to uh, FFNnetwork9 at gmail.com, okay? And you also could get a chance to win this, not just the tablet. The sucker is 12 inches long, okay? It's not just a tablet, ladies and gentlemen. It's a a tablet slash PC, okay? Now you can imagine what the hell that fucking item costs, right, ladies and gentlemen? So, with that being said, come back here next Thursday to the Miss Tammy and Blaze Man Show. Email us at ffnnetwork9 at gmail.com. Put your full name. Say hi. We will put your name in the name generator. And if we pick you, you get a chance to win it all. Right, Miss Tanny? Right. So, with that being said, tell your friends, tell your grandma, put your dog on a fucking uh, platform with them. Okay? And with that being said, peace and love to each and every one of you out there. We're super happy. Even though winter is over, we have heat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? Yay. So, we have heat. You know what I mean? And I'd like to thank each and every one of you for tuning into our show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, it's always fun. It's always fun. Me and me, me and Miss Tammy were back and forth before we started the show. It was like, you know, not the time to uh, get into a little riff before we want to have fun on the show. But um, again, we do honestly appreciate each and every one of you that tune into every show here on the network. Thank you again, Miss Tammy. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. We really appreciate it. We will see you all again next Thursday. Same time, same place. Bye, everybody. Everybody have a great week.